In lesson 4.5, we're going to talk about the World Wide Web, and I mean the World Wide Web, because the World Wide Web is really international, and many pages are written in languages other than yours. So from my perspective as an English speaker, I might want to figure out how I can search for pages in other languages and then read them in a way that makes sense to me. That's what this lesson is all about. So suppose I do a search like this for Eurozone. And I'm curious about what, say, Spanish speakers would be thinking and saying and writing about the Eurozone. How would I get that? Here's the answer. By using Advanced Search, you click on Settings, go to Advanced Search like that, click there, and it brings up the Advanced Search page user interface. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of options here. The ones we want to focus on are this right here, the Language Selector. If I click on any language, it pops up a list of a lot of different languages. Finnish, Greek, Hebrew, Portuguese, and in this case, I want Spanish. Click on Spanish, and then do my search. And what I get now are pages that are written in Spanish that have been returned as the search results. Okay, makes sense. Now, there are a couple of things you can do once you've got this. Is suppose I don't read Spanish. I can click on this link right here to translate that page. And this is taking me to a translated version of the Wikipedia article on the Eurozone. Fantastic. But suppose I've got a page like, say, uh, this one right here, which is coming from a Spanish website. Now, you can see I've set this to be automatically translated, but I can now go back and click on this button and see the original. So I can go back and forth between the English version and the Spanish version. One way to do that is to use this tool up in the upper right corner of the browser bar, and that allows you to toggle back and forth. If I click on that tool, click, it gives me that option to see the original or see the translation. So in this case, I've got it in Spanish. I can now click here to see in English. Okay, does that make sense? So you have multiple ways to translate. I can click on the menu item in the search result page, or I can go to the page itself and use Chrome to invoke the Google translation function. Okay. Now, one thing you can also do, do that, that search again, Eurozone. So here we are in Eurozone, and I can now go back to advanced search. And this time, I want to say search by Spanish again. This is true Spanish. But I want to limit it this time to results from a particular region. In this case, I'm going to choose Mexico, because Mexico might have a different opinion than, say, Spain, which is part of the Eurozone. So I scroll down, I get to Mexico, so let's switch that, click on Advanced Search, and now I've got different set of results, because these are results in Spanish coming from a Mexican website. Okay? Fantastic. Now, let's do one more example here. Suppose I want to understand something about river dolphins, those beautiful pink dolphins that swim in the Amazon. And here my results are all in English. Great. But what do the Brazilians think about the river dolphins? Now, as you know, the language of Brazil is Portuguese. So let's do that trick and say settings, advanced search. I want to see river dolphin in any language. In this case, I want to do Portuguese, right? Great. I'll say Brazil, because I'm curious about what the Brazilians think about this. And now I've got results about the river dolphin in Portuguese in Brazil. Wait, if you're a Portuguese speaker in Brazil, would you call it a river dolphin? Probably not. So how would we translate this? Let me open a new tab. I'm going to do a search for Google Translate. This brings up the Google Translation option, and I can type in, in this case, River Dolphin on the left-hand side, and I've got Portuguese selected on the right. And now I see they don't call it a River Dolphin. They call it a Golfino do Rio. Or if I want to really get that, I'm going to copy that. I can actually click this button here to hear it. Golfino do Rio. Okay. So now I've got this copy, and I can now go back to my search here, paste that up here, 
do my search now, and now I've got Portuguese pages from Brazil using the Portuguese term for river dolphin. So in this sense, I'm getting a lot closer to the original content, the original intent, to the content that's produced in the country, in the language of that country. Go ahead and explore with this because it's a great set of tools to use and gives you access to the real World Wide Web.